Okay, so in this chapter, what we're going to be doing is how to render your paint effects, be it the eyelashes and the eyebrows in Mental Ray. So, of course, uh, if you were to render it as is, you would notice that... Let me just go to Render View and show you what I mean. Alright, so let's render that. Okay. Alright, so if you were to just render this normally, you would notice a huge difference. As this render comes up, you'll see what I mean. Alright, so as you can see, rendering it as is in Mentory, you will not see the eyebrows or the eyelashes paint effects pop up. A reason being is because currently right now they are still as paint effects. So what we need to do for something like this is to convert them into polygons. So as you can see here there's no eyelashes, uh, no eyebrows. So let's fix that. Alright, so we'll save that image so we can compare the two. And let me just jump back into our front view for a second here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of the paint effect strokes in our outliner here. Alright, so as you can see, all of them are highlighted. And now I'm going to go into my modeling tab, which I already am. And I'm going to go up to modify, come down to convert, and then I'm going to go to paint effects to polygons. Alright, so let me select that. I'm going to reset everything. Alright, so as you can see, we have some options here. We have uh, Vertex color mode, which you have none, color illuminated. In other words, once you convert it, you can give it a specified color if you'd like. Uh, you can have it as quad output and height strokes. For this point, we're going to just leave it as none, height strokes checked, and polygon limit to 100,000. Okay, let's just give it a little while to do its calculations on this. All right, so all of them are actually polygons now. Now, before I deselect anything, what I'd like to do is I'd go to my rendering tab and I would select something like a Fong material. And let me just name that uh, May underscore paint effects. Hair. Yeah, that should do it. And uh, I'm going to change the color as well. Let me just turn off selection highlighting. So you can see this update. Then I'm just going to drag that down so that it's solid black. And I'm also going to just scroll on down, turn my diffuse up to about 1. Turn my specular down just a little bit. I don't need it to be so glossy. And last but not least, I'm going to make my reflectivity zero. It doesn't need to be reflective at this point. All right. I think we got what we need. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump right back into our render view. And then I'm going to do one more render. So you can see the difference. Okay, so let's just give it a little while here to render. Alright, so as you can see while it's rendering, um, the paint effects or stroke effects whichever one you'd like to uh, call this, 
but I'll stick with just paint effects. As you can see, the paint effects um, here for the eyebrows and the eyelashes are visible. The shadows for them as well are also visible. All right, so let's say you have any lights in the scene and shadows are attached to it, it will interact with it. Um, it'll also interact with fluid effects, uh, smoke, collisions, what have you. It works just fine. Okay, so I believe that's it for this chapter. In our next chapter, however, we will be going over what we did for the hair cap in Maya.